In this video, I'm going to be breaking down one of my favorite passing concepts uh, that will help you beat pretty much every defense in the game. And this comes to us out of the U-Trips formation. This is also known as the Y-Off Trips Pats formation in the New England Patriots offensive playbook. Now, if you want to get my entire U-Trips or Y-Off Trips Pats offensive ebook, I would encourage you to go ahead and check out my uh, full ebook on this. We put a full ebook uh, in the Patreon. If you have not become a Patreon member yet, I'd really encourage you to consider doing that. It's only 10 bucks and it gets you access to all of my Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks. So if you want to check that out, the link is in the description down below. Uh, but like I said, today we're going to be taking a look at one of my favorite little passing concepts. And I think one of the just most powerful plays in the game out of Pat's Y out in the New England Patriots U trips. Uh, so again, we're in the Patriots playbook. We're going to be using the play uh, Pat's Y out if I can find it. There it is. And this is going to be a great little man in zone beater. So uh, what we're going to do is we very simple setup here. We're going to block our running back and then we're just going to drag our tight end. So that's the setup. And what we're going to do is we're going to have a high low on the left and then we're going to have a wheel pose concept on the right. So uh, we're just going to motion this guy across. And you're going to see that this wheel route on the left side uh, is one of the best routes in the game, if I can throw it right, um, is one of the best routes in the game. It's, it's definitely one of the best against man. Um, it's actually pretty good uh, against zone. What you want to do is you want to look at their quick, and if that's, uh, of course, I hit circle. Um, if that's not open, then you can obviously check it down to somebody else. Uh, but let me show you the wheel route because I think the wheel route's actually really good if they're not utilizing hard flats. So I'm going to throw it to R1 this time, not circle. And you'll see, just pass lead outside. And as you can see, I'm not freeforming this, by the way. Um, I think with, with, if you have a set feet lead quarterback, uh, freeform, you can use it. But I'm actually really enjoying not using it um, just because of the randomness that I feel like freeform puts in the game. You can freeform it if you want to. Um, I'll show you that real quick. So I'm going to hold left trigger. See how it's going to get a little bit more outside and... But you see, if they're not playing hard flats, meaning if they're not jumping into the passing lane quick, you can throw this ball. Now, I want to show you the difference, so I'm going to play hard flats this time. And what you'll notice is this is a hard flat, and you'll see that he's going to fly out. Now, what I can do is I can try to ag if I want to. I can try to highball that. Um, another little pro tip is when you have leverage on the wheel routes, like you see here when I motion this guy in, I'm going to now have outside leverage whenever i have leverage at the snap i can high ball and a lot of times this will actually get out there still even against a hard flat i'm going to show it one more time and then we'll talk about um what the defense can do to counter that so um you'll see right here again i'm going to hard flat just pass it outside you see how the guy doesn't react to the ball okay that's why zone is so bad in this game like that right there is one of the many reasons why zones are so bad because they just drift they don't get outside quick so what the opponent has to do, uh, and this is what's interesting about it, is they get into a position where they kind of have to like, honestly, it's kind of a weird defense, but they kind of have to like do something like this where they like keep the slot corner outside. Now you'll notice now that I have outside leverage of the wheel route, you're going to see that he's going to play this a little better. Uh, so you see there, see how I can, I'm going to have a hard time throwing that at either angle. Okay. So that's something you need to be aware of. Um, if they are, if you're, if their defense is drifting inside, like it gives you a lot of opportunity. Now, uh, another thing that you'll see, this is kind of a trap defense that you'll see, but cover two hard flat. Uh, so what you'll see is this hard flat. He's going to drift out, but if you wait on this wheel, there's a small little window where you can actually possession catch that over the top of the cloud and underneath the deep half. So you have a lot of really valuable uh, possibilities here, uh, specifically against zone coverage uh, because of how good this wheel ride is. Now, this play is also really good against man. I do want to show you this high-low. So you'll see here, because we're going to do a motion snap, you'll see that this corner route can actually get underneath the outside quarters and outside thirds, as you can see right there. So if they're playing, you know, cover two, cover three, and let's say they're playing a hard flat, I'm going to baseline and press it just to kind of get that third to get as low on the route as I can. And again, you'll see this little scissors action, and then this little corner route kind of puts him in a position where I could cut that off and make a play against zone coverage. So what this does is it requires your opponent to now have to throw – um, you know, purples on the field or deep clouds, and this is going to open up opportunity for your drag. So you'll see right here, 
And of course, my drag fell down. Um, but you can also throw that route right there. The wheel route, what's nice about it is it's a snap throw read. And then it also serves us as a clear out streak for uh, that backside post, which is then going to have, like that post is going to have to be usered. Um, and then if you want to put your tight end on an in route or a drag, either one is fine. What you'll see is the, uh, you see just gets under the zones. So if they're not hard flatting, then we can throw that. If they are hard flatting, which would be something like a, you know, let's just do a cover four and we'll hard flat out of it. Then you should be able to hit your uh, corner route as long as you snap it about right here and let that kind of, you're going to have to cut it off. But as you can see, it's a really easy uh, little read against cover four. So that brings me to man coverage. Um, man coverage is obviously the meta for a lot of different reasons this year. Um, you know, but how we beat man coverage out of this is actually a really good play for man. It's actually probably the best for man coverage because every route beats man. This wheel route on the snap is your first read and probably the best read on this play. Um, you want to try to throw that wheel route quick. And if they're not shading their coverage underneath, that is going to be open. So if it's cover zero or cover one, you're going to have a lot of opportunity to be able to hit this quick throw wheel. So again, as soon as we snap it, we're looking. Okay, outside pass lead, throw that out there. And a lot of times that's what will happen where they won't tackle him and you'll be able to get outside and get some quick yards. So the way they counter this is they shade underneath. The problem is, especially if you have a fast receiver in that spot, um, because this is a sharp cutting wheel, not a rounded wheel, he can potentially be open for this overthrow, just like that right there, or um, high throw over the shoulder. Okay, so just keep that in mind. Uh, the rest of the reads for this play against man, they're all really good. The, the uh, corner route is going to be a good read, especially if you have short and lead on this player. Uh, but you'll see right here, see how they, they just give him a natural rub? I don't know how he overthrew that. Um, that's why you want to highball literally almost everything in this game. Um, because if you highball it, they don't generally overthrow the ball. Uh, but anyway, you know, this corner route is going to be good. I've talked about this corner route a little bit before. Um, but you'll see here just this natural pick. And then you're going to be able to throw that, you know, and make a play. And then uh, your post and your in route are also really easy uh Really good reads for man. So again here, they adjust to stop the corner route by putting the purple over there. Uh, they have to have that, you know, deep zone to stop the, you know, whatever. And then now you're going to have your tight end drag it across for easy, easy gains. And the last route that I like is this post, which we probably know by now. Uh, just, just a really good route. So they got to have the deep half over the top for that wheel. And then they have to have, you know, really good user, to be honest, um, because they have to go from the tight end to the post. A lot of times that tight end will be open. And if that's not open, then you got your post coming over the middle. Really nice. Now, one last thing I do want to show this clear out route um, against cover four, because I didn't get a chance to show this. So this clear out wheel route is really underrated. Um, you'll see this post won't be able to be thrown early, of course. Actually, in double tap, double tap X. Um, but this post route won't be able to be thrown early, but it will be able to be thrown late in this play. Um, so basically, we're going to want to throw this post route, you know, kind of once he gets to the right side safety to a degree. Um, but you see here, the wheel route will clear this out. And then we're going to throw that post kind of over there is the idea. So, um, you know, very simple play. Obviously, against cover two or cover three, it's a little different in terms of how we can pass, um, how we can get this post open. It's just a little bit more open. So cover four to me does a better job. His inside quarters will break on the ball really well this year. But this one right here is really simple and one of my favorite plays. I want to thank you for watching the video. And if you want to learn the rest of the U-Trips Offensive eBook, make sure you join our Patreon. It's only $10 to sign up. And you get access to all of our eBooks and all the updates to those eBooks as well. Thanks for watching the video. And if you want to sign up, head down to the description below and click the link down below.